All right, so I had a lot of people asking me on Reddit and in the comment section, well, not recently, but it's been the last year in the comment section on my old YouTube channel, Mini Sands, about how to set up Black and White 2 on Windows 10 and Windows 11, and how to also modify the game's files to uh, basically cheat the game. Um, so I'm recording this on an anchor speaker, so I don't have a microphone, so the audio is going to be pretty bad, but I will go and get me a Jabber headset um, probably tomorrow and uh, re-record if necessary for better quality, but I, I think I can probably just get the message across just with the anchor speaker. I think that's uh, good enough. So uh, first things first is um, getting your hands on Black and White 2 or Black and White 1. Uh, I can do a video on Black and White 1, but I'm just going to focus on Black and White 2 for now because that seems to be the most popular uh, request. Um, so basically, you can get Black and White 2 from uh, my Abandonware. I don't particularly have a link for Black and White 2, and I'm not sure where to get it from my Abandonware, but it is on there. Um, the reason why is because I already have my own copy of Black and White 2. I had uh, went ahead and uh, ripped my own game a long time ago before I ended up breaking my disc. Um, so thankfully I did rip it myself. But um, yeah, so we'll get started. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some kind of way to mount an ISO file. Uh, so there are a couple of options, personally. I would use uh, WinCD. WinCD MU is pretty straightforward. If you get, if you have, uh, if you have Firefox and you have the uh, Origin extension, you can get rid of all this bullcrap with uh, all these ads and stuff. Uh, I don't have Firefox on this computer because I don't really use the internet on this computer. Um, but yeah, if you get Firefox and you get the Origin extension. You can get rid of all these ads, and it just make it a lot easier to figure out where you actually need to click to download uh, winning you. So the other option for mounting is Power ISO. Um, Power ISO is one that I've used in the past personally. I love Power ISO. Um, but for me, I think I just have the standard Windows mount. So if you have Windows 11, I think you can mount ISOs for Windows. Um, you don't have to have any kind of third-party app. So uh, you just Mount your file, and then uh, start your setup. So the uh, the setup itself is pretty straightforward. So we'll just go through it real quick. And this is my CD key. It's my own personal CD key. So if you want to, you can use it. Um, because it, I don't think the server is up anymore to register. Sorry, I'm having a type of computer. I don't think the server is up to register the CD anymore, so there's no way for the computer or the um, there's no way for it to lock the CD as already in use or something. So you should be alright with that. So once it gets here, it's going to ask for you to insert your disk two. So what we'll do is just have another window open with your file explorer and then you'll just right click and then hit mount. And then you'll go to browse and just make sure that it's pointing to the correct path. That's all you got to do for that. And then the same thing for the third disk. Just go in, mount it, browse, make sure it's going to the right path and hit OK. And then lastly, the fourth disk, same thing, mount, open. Browse, disk 4, OK, OK. All right, so when you get to here, you're just going to hit register later, finish. And then now we have black and white 2 installed. So if we try to open it, uh, it's going to give us permission issues, and it's, gonna, it's not going to open. No matter how much I try, if I can run it as administrator, um, it won't ever actually launch. So we're going to fix that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to black and white files or black and white game .net. So this is a website um, that's held up by the community. Um, Lionhead Studios actually does or has in the past released patches for the game. So if you go to uh, downloads and then black and white 2 and you go to official black and white 2 files, you'll see down here that black and white or rather Lionhead has released patch 1.1, 1.2, and they even you know released the modding tools and demo. So um, we're going to install these two patches. Um, I already have both of these patches. So just click and run it. And 
just hit next through all of it and then hit install. All right, once 1.1 is done, we go ahead and install 1.2. Hit OK and then next through everything. All right, now that that's installed, try it one more time, so permission issues. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to uh, patch 1.4. I do not have this one. And uh, we're gonna install it. So hit download. Just go ahead and put that down here. All right, and then we'll run it. All right, so before we go any further, there is a mod called Black and White 2 Plus. It was released by, I think his name is Blue. Um, yeah, Blue Cat. So it was released by Blue Cat. Now, if you're going to install this mod, you're not going to actually install the 1.4. Uh, you're not going to install the 1.4 patch. Because the mod has, uh, I think it does have a patch in it for Windows 10. So rather than installing the 1.42 patch, you'll just stop with the 1.2. And if you want to download that mod, it is right here. Um, it is on mod DB. So you just type in black and white 2 plus. It's a pretty active uh, modification to the game. The guy uploads uh, the guy uploads um, updates pretty often. Um, not here. I can't remember where he actually does update everyone. But yeah, you can see I was playing this a couple months or well. It was like a couple of days ago I was playing this. It's a really fun mod. Um, I, I definitely recommend it. It adds a lot to the game. Um, it adds a bunch of new lands to the game. The old god lands, as he calls it, which is the uh, basically the, the islands or the maps from Black and White 1, uh, just kind of revamped to be in Black and White 2. Um, he, also, uh, he also brought back the Aztec Sacrificial Lands, which is a, it's a land that's talked about a lot in the original campaign of Black and White 2, but we never actually get to see it. And then there's also a second Norse land that you can play as well, which I think, uh, I don't know if that, that's it right there. I think that's all part of the Old Gods lands. But there is a second Norse land that you can play as well. Um, oh, here it is, Norse Homeland. So I, I do recommend it. I think it's a great mod, um, and it's a lot of fun. But we're not here for this. Um, we're here for getting the game to actually work. So we'll go ahead and install the 1.42 patch. So once the 1.42 patch is done installing, you should be good to uh, start up the game. Let's try it. All right. So again, I'm using the anchor speaker as a as a tool to. Uh, to basically to basically record myself um but here you go you can see that it actually does work so uh, the 1.2 or the 1.4 patch actually does fix a lot of things with the game there's a lot of bugs that were fixed and then also you it makes it's either the 1.1 or the 1.2 patch from linehead that makes the tutorial land skippable um so whenever you're like in the first or second land where you choose your creature or where you're learning how to place buildings and stuff you can just press the escape button and it'll bring up the skip land uh, toggle and then you just hit yes and then it'll take you to the next one. Alright, so now that we've done all of that, it's time to look at modifying the game's files. So I'm going to do that in a separate video, um, but that is how you install Black and White 2 and get it to run on Windows 10 and Windows 11. You can see that I'm on Windows 11 now. Um, and then also it's the same with uh, Black and White Battle of the Gods. Uh, I don't have the patch for Battle of the Gods, but it is here. So if you go back into uh, uh, blackandwhitegame.net, you can go down to Black and, uh, Battle of the Gods downloads. And then there's a fan patch right here that fixes the issue with it running on uh, modern day systems. Now, it does run for me. I have gotten it to run using the, that fan patch um, on Windows 11. But for some reason, once I capture the first town, or rather, once I win the first land, right before I win the first land, uh, the game does crash, and I can't get past that part. So there might be something that I can try and tweak to kind of fix that. It's something I'll look into later, but um, who knows? It might work for you. I do know that it works for Windows 10. All my systems are Windows 11, 
uh, so it doesn't work for me. But uh, I have I have played and beaten the game on Windows 10, and I didn't have any issues once I installed the fan patch. So you do that. It may also be because uh, you know I had Blue's uh, mod installed, but the mod that Blue created doesn't actually change anything with Battle of the Gods, so I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if that was the cause of it because I think they all have um, I believe they all have different folders, which I don't have it installed. So, but yeah, black and white got all the gods would show up right here. It'd have like a, its own little folder, and it'd have its own scripts and sub data and stuff like that. But it may use some of this, uh, some of the packaging for black and white too. So that's probably why it wasn't working properly. But I'll make another video on how to modify the game and then upload that shortly after this one's uploaded.